This video explains how to use the axis argument within a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our example data frame contains seven rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. And all of these columns contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the mean values for the columns and for the rows of our pandas data frame. Then we have to apply the mean function, as you can see in the next lines of code. And if we want to calculate the mean values of the columns of our data frame, then we have to set the axis argument to be equal to zero. So in other words, if we want to calculate some metrics based on the columns of our data frame, the axis argument needs to be set to zero. So in this example, I'm calculating the mean. And for that reason, I'm using the mean function. And then I'm also using the print function to print the output of the mean function below the code box. So as you can see, after running this line of code, a new output is returned, which shows the mean values of each of our columns in our data frame. So the mean of the first column is 3.0. The mean of the second column x2 is 5.28 and the mean of the third column x3 is 4.0. Now if we apply exactly the same code but with the axis argument set to the value 1, then another output is returned and this output shows the mean values by rows. So for instance, the mean value of the very first row is equal to 1.33. And in this case, we have calculated the mean values by rows instead of by columns, because we have set the axis argument to be equal to one. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.